Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my kitchen. It's Christmas time now, so I decided I'm going to do a bit of a Christmas countdown. There will be no Christmas countdown. So, this day, the Christmas countdown, I'm going to make a Yule log. So, roll the intro and then we'll get straight into this nice Christmassy dish. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing a sun hat. This makes it look somewhat Christmassy, you know, in the way. And, so, anyway, roll the intro. Right, the stuff you'll need to make is really Christmassy dish is you will need, for a start, you need a mixing bowl. Now, this particular mixing bowl is actually pretty special because it's got a bit and the bottom that allows it to connect to my food processor stroke mixer. On the top of that, I am using to mix this. A stand mixer. You do not need this. You can do this by hand mixer. But it will take longer. And also, because I'm using a stand mixer, I need to use this attachment for the uh, filling. And you also need a sift. Fork. And a spoon. The ingredients you will use are three eggs. Three. There you are. <sighs> Put in the bowl because we're going to eat them later on. You'll need a hundred and twenty-five grams of castor sugar. You also need Seven even flour, 100 grams, as well as 25 grams of cocoa powder, or in my case, galaxy drinking chocolate. More than that, maybe. For the filling, you will use 150 grams of butter, which is unsalted. Can you see that? Yes, you can. That's good. <sighs> Keep this with the some stuff. I did not think this is good. Sorry, folks. <laughs> you also need. 300 grams of icing sugar. You'll also need 100 grams of chocolate. This, this is dark chocolate, and for this, it does pay to get the good stuff because it will taste a lot better. Not apart from also green black, so that's the special bowl outside. So, on the topic of filling, the filling will also double as the coating on the outside, but the coating on the outside will harden, so, and then give it that nice classic yellow log thing. Whereas if you do this, score it with this, you'll get that lovely yellow log effect. Also, icing sugar, you need a bit extra for dusting. So, yeah. Now, now that I'm around, let's just get cracking on making this thing. So, yeah. Right, so the first thing you want to do is get your 125 grams of castor sugar and sieve it into the bowl. These are passing to the sieve to get rid of any lumps that might be in it. Unfortunately, this does not have any lumps at all. I'll get castor sugar drip. Next, you want to crack in three eggs. Crack them, just give them one good. I just do this. If you can avoid it, no shell. A wee bit of shell might do, but... Like, a tiny bit of shell like that is unavoidable. But... Here. Got a big mass bits of shell that will not be too good. So, again, one good. If I figure that bit out, that'd be even better. Like, I can. There's a wee tiny bit of shell in there, but you're bound to have a bit of shell as an egg for God's sake. So, in, pull apart. That was quite a good crack if I just say so myself. Right! This is me, 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 and this. Anyway, oh, by the way, in case you didn't email up for walking away, I actually, the bed's all the way over there, so yeah. I should probably write over here, but you'll know, Mom will probably monitor us off. Finds out with the bin. So anyway, 
That's an X. And yeah. Next, you want to mix your. Next, we're mix it together for 10 minutes until they're thick. So you want to put them into your mixer. You put your mixer, get your mixer up, you put that in your mixer, put that down, then just make sure some filler up here. In my case, set a timer. Never have to set a timer for 10 minutes. If you are nice, you'll be all loyal and useless, but oh well, that's just your seven. So, three, two, one. <laughs> Your mixture should look something like this. Where it's done, but these how you look right here, when you do that, and it does a trail, like that. It means this is done. Next thing you want to do is get your flour and cocoa powder mix. As you can see, I've got here. And then just pour it into the sieve. Just get rid of any lumps that are in it. And then fold it in. If you've not added in enough cocoa powder, you can always add a bit more. Doesn't need to be mixed in with flour. Make sure you sieve it in. Go in your large lumps, just do that. Good as many. Make sure you get all that flavour out of there. I might as I have, so yeah. Then just fold it. Fold it in like this. So you start it seeing brown colour. I think that's a bit light, so yeah. So, if you think it's a bit light and it's a bit darker, add in more drinking chocolate, it does not hurt. Make sure it's drinking chocolate by the way, not instant or chocolate. Do not be very gentle. That's probably a bit enough actually. Again, you need to make sure it's drinking chocolate, not cocoa powder. Well, drinking chocolate, not thingy. Not in small chocolate. Again, in small chocolate has an ingredient in it. For the same reason, that makes it different from So, anyway, that's probably plenty. Let's just mix it in. But if you're anything that gets inside, you just do that and then just fold it in like that. And there you are. So make sure you, get, you need to get all of it folded in. That's crucial. All of it needs to be folded in, I just realised you can't really see that. There you go. All of it needs to be folded in, that is absolutely crucial. I think it's a wee bit thick, you can add in a wee bit of cold water, but to be honest, it shouldn't be. Like, it should be this thick, actually, yeah. But I'm actually going to add one. One fifteen ml spoon of cold water. One more, sorry, hot water. Add one tablespoon of well, fifteen ounces, sorry, of warm water. See what happens. You think it's not thick enough. If you think it's too thin, or not thin enough, then just add in one more. Do not add any more than two fifteen mils, two fifteen mils spoons of cold water. Or else you your whole dish. And you don't want that. Because it's Christmas time. Can't sing that or get a copyright strike. Beep. Okay, what I'm doing at the minute now is I'm just making sure all that flavour and the ready drop is. And that smells phenomenal. Now, what you need to do, get your social tip. Which is here. Like this, 
part is crucial. It is crucial that you get this level. Like, no last matter. You have to get this level. Or this whole entire deck is ruined. I just feel like I can't see that again. Sorry. There you go. Perfect. So, you've got that all folded in. So, make sure you scrape all the excess off the spoon as well. With a bowl's paper. Next, what you need to do, put this right down in the sink. And then, pour it in to your special tin. The crucial part about this is it's got you got to pour it in the centre so it'll be level, so yeah. This is all the satisfying. Probably for you. Because you probably can't see what I'm doing. This way I add warm water as well to make it easier to pour. This mixture sounds amazing. And I'll come back when it's when this is level. As you see my sis roll is now sis roll. Your log is now absolutely level and ready to go into the oven. Now, don't worry about this getting perfectly level, because it's just gonna get covered in our, our nice coating anyway. So yeah. Let's head over to the oven, let's put this in. Right, so I'm just going to get my swiss roll now, as well as some oven gloves. And then we'll be putting it in the oven. Now if you're not spot it, we fan oven will do as well. Oh, that's on there. That's why I'm using it. Put this little stove for now. I want to have a baked tray in there. No, that baked tray's old. Don't say anything. Yeah, put it. Nothing. That is definitely nothing. Right. That goes in there. For right. So basically, I have uh, already edged this. It's already the oven. So now I'm going to roll it with the parchment paper in so it doesn't all stick together. Parents like to cool, then we'll go make the film. So. Oh, by the way, make sure to eat these edges because they're they'll, they'll be delicious. Don't have a little bit sticky, it should be fine. Mm -hmm. So, off the bell, like. Right. That's the critical part. Roll it. So you need to roll this in part of your paper. Don't bother ever doing that. So basically what I've done, like I had done off camera, is I rolled it up the log and put it in the fridge just to let it cool. So while that's cooling we are going to be making our filling. So, first of all, when you clean, cream, cream your butter and your icing sugar. Also, the icing is a bit lumpy like mine. Run it through a sieve. So, so guys, we're gonna, I've already got my butter and the icing sugar served in there. So we're just going to cream it. So put this on a mixer with a creamy attachment on it, but if you just use the hand mixer, use regular beaters. And then start on a very low RPM. Yeah. Right, guys. Basically, in the intro, I said I was using a town mixer. Yes, I did. But see, for this buttercream, just use a hand mixer because it's better. And that sand mixers just can't handle that. So, anyway. 
We're going to melt our chocolate so we head over to the microwave and we'll do that right now. Basically, so now what we're going to do is we're going to melt our chocolate in the microwave. Because this is by far the quickest way. So, put it in there. Do another... Ten second intervals. So I'll come back with that. Right, our chocolate is melted. So we're going to add that to our barking mixer. By the way, I had to make the whole quantities. So as they say, if in doubt. We scrape all that in a second. We scrape it over that. So it's got something to point it. So mix it in. That's looking lovely. Should, this should get the thickness of cement. Almost. Look at that, Zoe. I can't hear it. But anyway, my sister's joined us. Say hi, Zoe. Hey. She's taking a week, she's doing like a school here, making the horse. I'm over safe, you guys. Are you going to bed? Good night, then. Hi. Alright, she's going to bed. Hey, Zoe. 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 Hey, all that melted chalk out of there. You want to use none of this expensive chocolate you just built, so yeah. It's expensive chocolate, you don't want to waste it, so yeah. Hey guys, this is almost ready. Let's just get all the stuff in the side. Wait, I need double quantities here, not the wrong set. F F F I thingy. If this works out and it's fair for the moment, then I will on the rest to change it. So yeah. Now, let's cut. We're going to go over to the other side. We will, we will then fill our Swiss roll. It looks good. Right, time to put the bit that brings this whole thing together. Chocolate filling. So, I'm going to get my cake smoothie to show you the video. Or oh, if you don't have one of these, a bowl schedule would suffice. But this is better. Grab a bit of this on there like that and just spread it on like that. Grab about the thickness of cementness. Might actually thicken it. I think it could be thicker. I've just filled the inside with it. Get it all doesn't matter if it's too even, make sure it's fairly even. Also the bark is sticky. I know it's good, that's it, so it's gonna be stately obvious. Yeah, I will wash my hands after that. Give me a second then. Go wash my hands. That's 
Drink everything level and even. Yeah, this was clean, fresh out of the pack, so it's fine. Next, rolling. Start with a very tight loop and then just roll it like that. If it cracks, don't worry too much about it. So you're going to cover it anyway. That, my friends, is a perfect your log. I just need to put all the stuff on, on top of it, garnish it, and then I will be right back. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and of course subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, a link to the recipe for this will be down below. And also, do you like the way I've decorated it, guys? It's meant to look sort of like a snowy mountain. So yeah, please like and of course subscribe for more videos like this. And leave a suggestion on what should make next, whether that's a cake, savoury, I don't care. Anything, I'll make it. Friend, it's appropriate.